Welcome resellers, I'm Sean, I'm a full-time eBay clothing reseller, and this is my daily sales. So today, we have 23 sales for $379, and I do have something I want to talk to you about before we get into it, and it's this video game right here. This is one of my wife's games, she let me sell some of her video games, and they sold super fast. This one, I listed for $15.99 plus $8.99 shipping. The buyer sent an offer of $10 plus the $8.99 shipping. Now the buyer sent a question whenever he sent the offer. He said, hello, if you accept my offer, would you please pack this in bubble wrap inside the package before it's sent? And I was thinking in my head, yeah, you know, I do that anyway, so that's not a big deal. Then whenever the offer was accepted, he asked me if I could remove the adhesive sticker on the back of this barcode because he claimed it's really hard to do if you don't have the proper tools to do so. So I ask you, if you received a question like that, what would you say? The easiest response is no. Now I already gave him a discount on it. Had he bought this at full price of $15.99 plus shipping, I may make an effort to get it off. He did say it's okay if you can't get it off, but I didn't really wanna try because it could take easily five to 10 minutes to take this off and it's just not worth it at such a low profit. The first item that sold is an Adidas three-quarter sleeve athletic shirt. Here it is right here. With three-quarter sleeve shirts, sometimes I put baseball in the title because a lot of baseball players wear that style of shirt. Next up, it's a Banana Republic linen blend short sleeve button shirt. It's a really nice plaid color. Anything linen blend, silk blend, cashmere, wool, I usually take a second look to see if it's worth selling. Next up, we have a Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve button shirt. This is just a solid blue Polo Ralph Lauren, kind of like that business shirt. Always make sure to check the collars and the armpits for staining because the business type shirts won't sell if it has any stains like that. Next up, this is a grunt style short sleeve t-shirt. Grunt style is kind of like military themed t-shirts. It has like cool graphics and sayings. Next, we have an Eddie Bauer corduroy long sleeve button shirt. I took a low offer on that because I've never really bought that many corduroy shirts. I don't find them very often, but it did sell pretty fast. Next, we have a Tommy Bahama linen short sleeve shirt, and this was a plaid print. Tommy Bahama is a huge category on eBay, similar to Polo Ralph Lauren. A lot of it sells, and a lot of it sells slow, but some of it sells really fast for a lot of money. That one sold pretty fast, but for not a lot of money. Next, we have a 5'11 tactical long sleeve button shirt, 135.88. Tactical 511, it has a lot of rip stops. It's a good keyword you can use. We have an Armani Exchange long sleeve button shirt. This is gray. I've been selling a lot of Armani Exchange lately. It's not like the designer Armani, but it's like one of their lower end lines and they sell pretty quick. We have a Wrangler Rock 47 denim long sleeve pearl snap shirt. This is a plaid Western style shirt and it has embroidery on it. If you guys notice behind me, the Husky racks here in my first shelf has some empty spaces. Now that's because I'm in the process of condensing down the racks. I do this about once a month or whenever the last rack I have is starting to get halfway filled up. This is one of the worst tasks in my business, in my opinion. It's just a brain dead task. I have to grab the boxes and move the items from the right box to the left box and up and I do it throughout the entire warehouse. This allows me to free up some boxes so that I can put new items in it and it allows me to just condense the space and, and free up some of the shelving units for the, uh, the end of the store, like the new part of the store. I have to do this because I'm limited on space. It takes like three hours to do 5,000 items. It's, it's a mess. Next up, we have a Tommy Bahama silk shirt. This one's yellow and it's a size large, 2168. Next item is a Nike Golf sleeveless v-neck pullover. It's a 2XL blue. That's kind of like some golf attire. Then we have Buffalo David Bitten jeans. Buffalo David Bitten is one of my least favorite jeans because they look like they're super expensive and some of them are pretty pricey but then others just don't sell as well. It's definitely a brand you'd have to do some research on and I just kind of avoid it now. Next we have Levi 514s. 
Yeah, and I believe I sold the 514s in my last video, and I was telling you guys that 514 isn't one of the cuts to look for. Since I ran the sale at the first of the month, a lot of these older items are selling at a discounted price that weren't moving at the price I had priced them at because they're not, in fact, as desirable as some of the other cuts. Next up, Polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve, and this is just a long sleeve crew neck shirt. So yeah, on the crew necks, try to stay under $3 for a buy cost on this. Next, we have Silver Suki Capri women's jeans. These are white. And yeah, Capri jeans, I don't think they're making a comeback. Next, we have a Vineyard Vines long sleeve crew neck shirt, similar to the Ralph Lauren one. Next, we have a pair of J. Jill women's jeans, size 16. Any women's jeans size like 14 and up have a better chance of selling faster and for more money than smaller jeans, from my experience. Next, we have a Roar Signature long sleeve button shirt. So this Roar Signature is a subline to the actual brand Roar, and it does not sell for as much money as Roar. Next item is Buckle BKE women's Peyton jean. This is also another Capri. Yeah, avoid the Capri jeans. Next, we have a Ariat Pro Series long sleeve button shirt. This is plaid. So yeah, this is a pretty nice shirt. I had it priced at like $34, like all in, and I ended up taking a lower offer because I think $34, $35 is a little high for Ariat Pro Series, maybe closer to that like $28 to $30 range. Next up is a pair of Hurley board shorts. This is an all black one, and it sold for $18.99. So yeah, like I said in the last video, Hurley board shorts and probably board shorts in general are going to start picking up. Last item we have is Cinch Black Label men's jeans. So Cinch Black Label is one of their like separate lines from like the Cinch uh, with the bronze patch and like the green patch that you see above the coin pocket. And I think the Black Label goes for more money. This one's not a great example of it. It only sold for $21, but it had some like tears and damage on it and it still sold for $21. So that's all the sales I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Drop a like on the video. Go ahead and subscribe. We're going to try to push the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.